So we stop this kind of practice and we concentrate on maintaining uh, this uh, mutually beneficial relation with our diplomatic allies. So mm -hmm. far, we haven't lost uh, any diplomatic allies mm -hmm. since our president, uh, Ma ying uh, took office about three years ago. Yes. That's number one. And we have been able to um, implement our foreign aid program in accordance with uh, what we call uh, very pragmatic you know, principles, that is transparency and accountability uh, in line with other international uh, aid you know, uh, providing pro uh, procedures or uh, practice. So in other words, uh, a lot of these foreign countries being able to give us some good you know, um, comments and a good um, uh, I will I'll only say that uh, they have been encouraging us. Yes. You know, we, 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 we believe that uh, we have gained a lot of this approval from all these, not only approval, but um, good um, comments from these countries mm -hmm. or international organizations and improve our relation with countries, mm -hmm. even though we don't have relations with them. But because of the very, our very positive foreign aid program in implementation, they have been able to tell us that uh, they support our our efforts and they would like to cooperate with our uh, our foreign aid uh, agencies mm -hmm. in carrying out you know joint uh, foreign aid uh, projects. Mm -hmm. That is very important. Yes. And another another point I would also like to tell you is that uh, with countries we don't have diplomatic allies, uh, particularly countries like the United States, Japan, we have been able to. Uh, restore, I would only say restore uh, mutual trust. Yes. Uh, at a certain time we have lost this kind of mutual trust and uh, we found that our relation with countries like the United States has worsened. Uh, now we, we, we have been able to restore our relations with uh, United States and Japan and European Union to a higher, much, level, much higher level uh, and also communication, general communication has been restored and also raised up to a very, very uh, high level. Just to give you some example, earlier this year, you know, when uh, Men in China's leader, Fu Jintao, went to the United States, mm -hmm. we've been able to maintain a very close consultation with the United States prior to the visit. So we know what they are going to talk about, particularly anything relating to Taiwan. Uh -huh. We were sure that uh, our interests would not be sacrificed, and their commitment to Taiwan Relations Act, you know, which is very important, is a cornerstone of uh, relations between the United States and Taiwan, will not be affected, and uh, their arms sale to Taiwan is not going to be affected as well, because they also have these uh, six assurances mm -hmm. given us in 1982. Uh, one of the most important uh, assurances was that um, one of the most of these six assurances is that uh, they will never, you know, set a termination date or expiring date or arms sale to Taiwan, right. and they will not have a prior consultation with men in China in so far as arms sale to Taiwan is concerned. Mm -hmm. Now, this is very important uh, assurance that are given us by the United States President our high-ranking officials. And in Japan as well, we have been able to restore uh, confidence and uh, tr mutual trust with, with Japan. We have been able to set up a new office in Hokkaido, uh, Sapporo, which we have been trying to do uh, for years without any um, success. But since we have new policy uh, in our foreign relations, Japan agreed that we set up a new office there. And we have this um, direct flight between Songsan Airport and Tokyo's uh, Haneda Airport, mm -hmm. uh, as well as uh, being able to sign a memorandum of understanding uh, for the mm. first time since yes. we broke relations with, uh, with Japan. We put in writing what the areas that we would like to engage mm -hmm. with, with, with Japan, and uh, four former prime ministers of Japan visited Taiwan last year, including uh, Taro Aso, Shinzo Abe and Toshiki Kaifu, as well mm -hmm. as uh, Yoshiro Mori. Some of them even came to Taiwan twice. Mm. And for the first time also, the Deputy Speaker of uh, Japanese uh, Parliament came to Taiwan 
for the very first time since our relation was uh, suspended in, uh, in 1972. So this all tells us that uh, we have been able to you know, um, build a very much stronger you know, relation with uh, Japan okay. and the uh, European Union as well. In the last two and a half years, European Union, both the government there, the European um, Commission as well as the European Parliament have either uh, released, released statement or adopted resolutions supporting Taiwan's participation in international organizations mm -hmm. and they even advocate that Taiwan and European Union should sign economic cooperation agreement which okay. is FTA-like agreement Yes, uh, and they also support our cross-trade uh, relations for our policy towards Taiwan and China so these are all very positive positive uh, sure. result. Yes. And I can also tell you that uh, the reason why earlier, uh, the reason why we have been able to sign a lot of agreements uh, with all countries giving us this uh, visa-free treatment mm -hmm. so is because we have a viable diplomacy. That is Viable great. diplomacy. Okay. Um, well, thanks to you, Minister Yang, for all this achievement within the foreign ministry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank it's you It's all much. your effort. You've worked really hard. No, it's all our people. It's <laughs> okay. all my colleagues and yes. also our people as a whole. You know. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for sharing thank you. all these um, achievements. And thank you. Thank you so much for being on this program. I appreciate it very much, Minister Yang. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Thank okay. you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching, people. I'm Shirley Lin. Thank you.